like you've been able to pick right back up where you left off. Uh, been been nice to just get back in there and get get things going again. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Time off is is not great for baseball wise, but we, obviously we, I needed to get to the wrist healthy before anything else, and um, to be able to get back with a fast start is uh, is huge. Your uh, the, the home run. What uh, that was a fastball. Talk, talk us through that one. That had bad a little bit. Oh, no, it was a curveball or a slider, whatever, a curveball, okay. I think it was. Um, yeah, just with two strikes, trying to protect, and he, he left one over uh, the middle of the plate and still wanted to do dam damage with those pitches uh, with two strikes. And um, I got it up in the air, caught it out in front, and uh, it went. Dylan, you've been hitting the ball so hard, and, and you were ki really killing fastballs before you got hurt. Do you think you're going to see an uptick in off speed? I mean, I know the changeup was a – or the double was on a changeup. Do you think – given what you've been doing, that you may see an uptick in off-speed stuff? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think it's just – it's a game of adjustments, right, on both sides. Uh, they see me as a, a fastball hitting threat, then obviously they're going to go with uh, more curveballs. And I got to make – I got to adjust accordingly. And I think that, you know, the work I've done with JD and everybody and, and um, focusing on – and doing the homework on the pitchers and, and what kind of off-speed they have and when they throw it. And maybe I'll get more in this counter versus this count. Um, I think it's helped a lot. And um, – yeah, it kind of goes back and forth, you know. Maybe if I start swinging and missing on some some more fastballs, they'll throw me some more fastballs, and then I'll have to adjust. And it's just it's just kind of a back and forth little game. Well, you guys just you're on a really good roll here as a team, and it's getting closer and closer in the standings. It, it's a young group. Are you guys able to you look ahead at all and look at the standings? I mean, you got Houston right there in front of you now. I I mean we try not to. I mean uh, obviously we had a little bit of a rough uh, past. Uh, I guess that was two weeks ago or, or whenever. And, uh, but uh, yeah, we're playing good baseball right now. And this is, um, you know, we, you look up at the standings and, uh, and we're close to it with the expanded playoffs. And um, it'd be great to get in there and get all, all of these young guys and uh, myself included as some playoff experience. It'd be, it'd be awesome. That's, that's our goal in the next couple of years anyway. So. Yeah, they come back, they get the two runs, uh, cut the lead to, to, to one there. Uh, that, how big is that any that to come back, give Marco some, some support there and get a little, little cushion again? Yeah, anytime you can get um, some cushion, some insurance runs is huge. Um, you know, a team like Texas with all the power they have, they're never out of it, you know, so it was good that we can get a couple extra runs and um, Marco could be a little more aggressive. I mean, he's, he's, he's pitching his butt off. He's, he's doing really well and he's, he's um, you know, he's the bulldog and he's, he's, he's we're, very proud of the way that he's he's gone out and, and been a leader and um, yeah it's 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 definitely good to for it's probably less stress it's less stressful pitches when he goes out there with uh, a little bit more of a lead um, and he could be a little bit more aggressive with his uh, pitch calling pitch throwing. As a hitter, you look at how Marco is. He doesn't have overpowering stuff. Everything moves a little bit, but he spots it up so well. How difficult is that versus just a stuff guy? You know, where a guy that you know can kind of dot up where he wants to throw it as a hitter, how difficult? Yeah, it's it's definitely different. Any anytime you get a uh, a pitcher who can who has multiple pitches they can throw for strikes, and then um, then they can command both sides of the plate. That that's kind of like the trifecta, right? So um, it's definitely harder than maybe just a stuff guy where you're kind of just looking middle. Whether it's a, whether it's um, he's got a little bit better of a fastball, I guess, but. Um, you're kind of just looking middle, and if it's not middle, it's really not close. So, yeah, with Marco, man, he just nibbles and he goes in and out and up and down, and and you don't know when, you don't know what, you can't really get off of any pitch because, you know, he can throw it for a strike, and then, um, you know, he'll pull the string on you. He's got a lot of weapons he can use, and and the command is is there, and that helps a lot. Pretty good chance, Doctor. Last night, the slide to get around the the tag at home plate. Uh, it's not one you can practice. Uh. Uh, how do you make that work? Oh man, you just uh, well, I knew he was up the line, so I just had to avoid him. But I th I thought I had gone a little bit too far around, and I, I really had to stretch for that uh, f for the plate there. But uh, I was I was lucky enough. I was I was getting ready to get back up to to go back to the plate, but I realized that I had already touched it, and the umpire gave me the the safe call. But yeah, you you really can't practice. It's just you know, I mean, you do that growing up. It's just one of those things. It's you know, you're just trying to avoid the tag. It's it's just one of those things you do, you know, 
four or five times a year, if, if that. Dylan, do you have to do anything maintenance-wise or protection-wise to keep that wrist healthy, uh, in, you know, so you don't have any other issues with it? Yeah, we're definitely focusing on it uh, before and after games, just making sure that it's, uh, it's ready to go each day. I think that um, just trying to get it moving, uh, making sure I'm really on top of how it feels and being honest with myself and um, staying, staying on top of it uh, rehab-wise. And um, just, just with anything else, just, just a little bit more focus on, on, on the wrist and making sure it's feeling good and making sure it's strong and um, getting some blood moving in there and um, doesn't get too stiff on me or anything like that.